Hi guys, um, this is Andrew from Tutorial Soup and in this tutorial um, I've already shown you how to make rectangles um, so I'm going to show you how to make lines and circles. Right, so this should look a lot like it did before and um, the only thing I have done is created a new a new HTML file uh, which is basically the same but I just renamed it to HTML5 Canvas That's uh, pretty much the only difference in fact it is the only difference um, I'm just going to quickly show you because both of these squares as we left them they're both the same color but I just want to show you how you can change the colors um, of the of the other rectangle basically to set the color you have to you have to define it uh, before you actually create the rectangle so um, so that would mean uh, in, in order to change the color of this one I just have to do it just before so um, context. So we fill style. Um, so as I said before, it's an RG, uh, RGB value. So it's red, green, and blue. So red, green, and blue. Oh, done that wrong. So in this one here, I had the red value turned up to maximum, and the green and blue to zero so if we this time put the the red value to zero and the green value to zero but the blue to maximum 250 and save this we should there we go get a blue small rectangle and that's setting this one to blue so this one's the blue one this one's the red rectangle I just wanted to show you that um, before I moved on to circles and, and uh, lines um, just it's pretty cool right so now I'm gonna delete these I'm gonna delete the two rectangles oops oops done it again this. so now we have a clean canvas so right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can draw a line in on the canvas. So in order to make a line, you need to reference the context. Um, and we are going to call a method called begin path, which just signifies that we're going to create a, a line or a path of some kind. Um, so now we need to set the XY coordinates of the start of the line. In order to do this, we need to write move to, and this is going to this is going to be the first x y coordinates of the start of the line. So, if I start it at 100, 100 um, across, and 100 down, so that's set the start line, the start uh, position and then we now want to set where the line moves to from that point so this is going to to do that we're going to put line 2 so this is going to so at the moment the line is 100 across and round about here this is going to be the starting point so now we want to define where it goes from here um, so what we can do is we can so we can so now if we want to extend the line out on the x um, axis uh, we can do it here so if we put 300 here and keep the y axis at 100 so it will still be so that it, on the y axis it will still be relatively in the same position but it will move along so it should be it should appear around about here so there should be a line from about 100 to um, x 300 here so um, so we now defined the um, x y coordinates of the start of the line um, and now we have um, defined the x y coordinates of um, the end um, the end position so it started off 100 100 and it's going to appear somewhere over here so now we need to do a corresponding closed path to close the path off so we do that like so and and then in order to show the line for it to show up we need to stroke it with a 
color so you stick it like so um, because again <laughs> again because I've used a chose to use a black canvas it's not going to show up so if I change the color of the canvas to white um, and save this as it is which I have done and uh, now if I refresh you'll see the line has changed you will see there's a line on the canvas. Um, I think I was slightly off um, where I said the where it's going to appear, but I mean, as you can see, that's that's pretty cool. So the starting position was 100, 100 across and 100 down, um, and the line two has um, increased the path to 300 across, and but it stayed at 100 down, so it's just drawn a straight line. So if we wanted to ex if we wanted to make it look like a diagonal line. Um, we would extend the line to, we would extend it on the y axis. So I will show you how to do that. So this is this is the x axis. So we want it to go 400, not 40,000, 400 pixels down. So if I then refresh that, it's now the the line to is 300 across and 400 down. So that's kind of a steep diagonal. Um, so that's the line. That's how easy it is to draw a line. Um, I'm going to show you how to draw more complex lines uh, later later on. Um, but for now, that's lines covered. Um, I'm now going to show you how to draw a cool circle. I don't know how cool a circle is, but um, maybe more colourful than cool. Um, now, in order to create a circle, um, we're going to be creating an arc, and it's going to be kind of similar to how uh, we draw a line. Um, again, you need to um, open context dot begin path like so. Um, now, instead of now instead of um, line, we're going to right arc. Now the arc takes a few arguments, um, six in all I think. Um, the first two are the, the XY position of the center of the circle um, as it will appear on the screen. So if I, I'm going to set these to 200 by 200 pixels. Um, third argument is the radius, so that's the, that's the distance from the middle of the circle um, um, to the outer uh, circumference, so it's I'm going to set that to six, 60, not 600. Um, the next two, uh, the next two is the start angle and the end angle. Um, I'm just going to set this, the start angle to zero, and this is a little bit more complicated. Um, I'll go into a bit more detail about this later, but for now. Um, just write this in and uh, I'll explain it later. So math. Suffice it to say we're just going to invoke, um, we're going to use um, an inbuilt math, um, an inbuilt math function which is, um, which I'm going to use to set the end angle to math.py2. Um, the last argument is whether or not the circle is going to be drawn clockwise or anti-clockwise. Um, if it was clockwise, you'd put true here. Um, but I'm going to put anti-clockwise, so I'm going to put false. Um, then a semicolon. Um, next, I'm going to put fill. So now I'm not. I'm going to put closed path. Sorry. And spell it correctly. So we're now closed the path. So then last thing is to fill so it appears on our screen so if I now save that and refresh it and now you have a circle which the center of the circle is 200 uh, 200 across and 200 down um, the radius is 60 from the center um, the starting angle is at zero um, the end angle is pi times 2 <laughs> 
and it started anti-clockwise anti so it's gone round in this direction um, I then closed the path and then filled it with black um, you can muck around with these um, these arguments in here um, to get you know some cool effects I mean you can change the radius if you change the radius to 150 your circle will just become bigger um, you can put it down to 20 and it will be very small indeed um, and obviously you can change the start Ooh. you can change the X Y coordinates of the um, start position so there you go um, so in the next tutorial um, I'm going to show you how to um, do a few different things I'm going to show you how to um, use a bit of jQuery um, as I mentioned before um, and I'm going to show you how to do a few more cool things with the canvas okay um, that's it for this tutorial I will see you later